At 615, your first alert forecast of you from DFW Airport. If you've been in town for the total solar eclipse, we're so glad that you made your choice here to see the total eclipse. Temperatures in the low 60s, mostly cloudy skies right now. A little bit of a break from the rain for most of the area, but as we look ahead, we're going to see more showers and thunderstorms, especially late morning into the afternoon, and still some storms could be strong and even severe. So today is still a weather alert. We're alerting you to that chance of showers and storms with heavy rain, large hail, gusty winds. We cannot rule out an isolated tornado, and there's still a flood watch in effect for areas east of I-35. That's east of the Metroplex. It goes to hourly forecast, so a little bit of a lull from the rain early this morning through the mid-morning drive, and then we'll like to see those rain chances ramping up to a 90% chance at 11 o'clock and toward noon today. Heads up, some of the rain could be heavy. First alert radar showing you that much, much of the viewing area, much of the Metroplex dry. That's just ground clutter with the radar at its lowest beam, but we do have showers and thunderstorms, real rain toward Palestine and you'll see toward the north and east headed toward Tyler in East Texas at this point. We see a lot of thunder and lightning and there will be some more showers affecting areas toward Palestine and maybe Athens, parts of even Navarro County that we'll be watching as we go through the morning. But look at all the storm reports, mainly hail, even some uh, yeah, wind and flooding rain that we saw in portions of even Wise County. Now, a look at first alert future cast will show you for the next several hours that the showers and storms toward Athens, Palestine will continue pushing away from the area toward East Texas. We get this break here in the Metroplex before more showers and storms move in from the south. That's the forecast at 11 o'clock this morning toward Corsicana, Coffin County. You also see toward Ellis County, Dallas County to the north, and we'll be tracking a lot of that toward the Metroplex thereafter into the afternoon. That's closer to 4 o'clock. And you'll see overall as we go toward 7, 8 o'clock, the storms will still be around the viewing area. Some folks will see more rain than others. There's your hourly forecast. A 90% chance of thunderstorms at 11 o'clock, 60% chance at 3, and a 40% chance at 6 o'clock. Rain and storms ramping back up a little bit later on. And Brittany, we've been watching it all morning long. We still have that threat for flooding rain and even some more severe thunderstorms. That's exactly right, especially because some areas picked up close to four to even a five inches of rain just yesterday alone. So those are the spots where we're going to see that increased flooding risk as we head through the day today and into tomorrow. So where you're seeing those brighter oranges and pinks, especially up towards Denton County, that's where we had some of the highest radar estimated rainfall. We picked up close to a Four inches in Denton, even around five inches near Van Alstine, and then just north of Bonham, close to five and a half inches of rain. So the ground is pretty waterlogged in those areas. If we have more strong thunderstorms moving over to those same locations today, definitely be mindful of any flooding or ponding on the roadways. But we do have a flood watch still in place until 7 a.m. tomorrow for our eastern areas. This is where we could see some of those higher rainfall tolls as we move through the day today, with some spots even picking up close to six inches of rain. So that flood advisory is still until 7 a.m. for Dallas and Collin counties because DFW saw nearly an inch and a half of rain in just one hour this morning. So that can definitely lead to issues out there on the roadways, which Kennedy and Lauren have been showing you all morning long. But here's the upper low that we're tracking. We still have to get this through the area before we see an end to the rain. So on first alert future cast, we're starting it on Wednesday morning because that's when we're going to see that low pushing through North Texas. So we'll likely wake up to some scattered showers and thunderstorms storms in the area. Those will be sticking with us mainly north of I-20 through the midday hours. And then as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see on the backside that wraparound moisture in the form of some light showers. And then we're also going to be dealing with some strong northwesterly winds throughout the day as well. Well, here's a look at some of those potential rainfall totals. Could even pick up another two to maybe three inches in some of the spots where we already had the heaviest rain around Denton County. And then your first alert seven day forecast showing that sunshine back Thursday and Friday. They're going to be picture perfect days. Just a few more clouds over the weekend. We're back to the 80s, but then our next rain chance is until next Monday.